it's me, it's Kenna Denzis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos every single day. In today's video, I'm so excited because we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of the new Twyla doll from the 2022 Monster High Dolls. So she is from the Creepover Party line, which I think is perfect for her. And I'm really excited because I feel like Twyla was one of the most interesting concepts for a monster and they executed her so well in Generation 1. Although I will say the signature like original release of Twyla is one of my least favorite Monster High dolls and I don't know what it is because this is actually one of my favorite Monster High dolls. She's on stilts, that's why she's tall. Um, and I also really, really love the Generation 2 version of Twyla as well. So I don't know. I'm really excited to see how G3 compares to these for me. Um, also, yes, she has a very misplaced eye. Anyways, so let's take a look at the new Generation 3 Twyla's box. So I really like these Creepover Party dolls. I think their boxes are super fun, although I will always miss the original Monster High box style. These are still very fun, and I love the art. I wasn't 100% on board with the art style originally, like in the first lineup. I didn't mind it, but it wasn't my favorite, but this is gorgeous. I think it looks really good here. It says Creepover Party. I love the sparkles on the Monster High logo, as well as her name, Twyla, up there. I'm wondering if her name is still Twyla Boogeyman or if it's just Twyla now. I don't know. And then we can see that Dustin has returned, which is her pet dust bunny, which is so, such a cute idea. And you can see a bunch of different iconography over here. And then on the back, you can see a little Creepover Party set. So this is going to be the equivalent to Dead Tired, essentially. There's even already a play set. And on the back, it says that Twyla's Creepover Party must have is her bunny ear cap. She likes petrified pastry strudels as her favorite midnight snack. Um, her favorite activity is hiding in the shadows um, at the Creepover anyway. And it says there is a glow in the dark feature, just like the original. So I'm pretty excited about that. So without further ado, let's get her out of the packaging. I'm so excited. Very pleasant and easy unboxing as usual. It's just the the little doorknob brett was really difficult to get out. Also, that area on the left really looks like there could be a stand in there and there isn't and it really bothers me. Why are there no stands? Twyla is out of the packaging and I was immediately really happy because there were a lot of weird rumors going around that she had polypropylene hair, but it is 100% that really nice quality saran hair that Monster High dolls always came with. So I really appreciate that. It seems like, unfortunately, the only doll who's getting consistent polypropylene hair is Claudine, and I really hope they change that. But Twyla, thankfully, has saran hair. And she's so adorable. I really love her new face. I think it looks really, really good. And it's reasonably accurate to the original, which I quite like. I also love that they're doing these big curled bangs now, and the way that they've rooted them is a lot better than the original, which we'll get into. I'm going to do a short comparison to the original Twyla. But first, let's just take a look at this doll as a standalone doll. So first of all, I really like the way that they added little buttons into her eyes um they're just these little shines in her eyes but i think it's quite cute and i'm excited to see because apparently her eyes glow in the dark just like in generation one which is pretty cool she has some dust on her from packaging sorry about that and then you can see that her bangs are gelled but otherwise her hair is not gelled these little white dots that are getting everywhere i think are the hair gel which um I like this hair gel. It's not like bothersome to me and you can actually still play with the hair quite a bit. So it's pretty nice and you can see her eyebrows. I love the new eyebrow style. It's so, so cute. Although Twyla did always have pretty thick eyebrows. So um, not too different. And she has eyebrows that actually match her hair color really nicely. They're just a bit darker. And I really like the lip shade that they chose too. I like that it's a slightly different purple than the rest of her design. I think it looks really good. And then she has these cute little spider earrings that have spider web designs on their backs. Really, really cute. Oh my gosh, is mine missing a leg? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, it's a six-legged spider. It's fine. We're not worried about it. <laughs> and then her hair is super, super soft, and you can see that this is about what you'd expect for a Monster High Dolls rooting. Saran hair tends to be rooted quite thin, and it looks really good. And then her hat is interesting. So it has a ponytail hole, which is not being utilized. And then for some reason, they've tied it around the back of the hair. Ooh, mine has some staining. Weird. I'm gonna have to clean that off. Um... I don't think it's standing. I think it's just dirty. Um, it's tied in a bow back here and it's pretty loose too. It's very interesting. I don't know why they did it that way. Um, so you can tie it around the front if you want to, or you can just leave it like this. I think I'll leave it like this because I like how it looks like this better, I think. Um, it's very interesting. Oh, let's check her ears. Oh my gosh. Look, look, look. Little spider web designs in her ears. Are you kidding? That is so cool. What? Wow. And look, there's a little ponytail here too. So she has a side part, just a little ponytail coming off to the side. And then her hat, I, this is my least favorite part of this whole doll so far. And I think in general, I'm not a fan of satin fabric in general. 
and I think on a comfy looking rabbit hood, Saran was an extremely strange choice. The construction of this hat is amazing though. So I'm hoping I can make my own out of a fluffier fabric. It's just kind of weird, right? Like why did they make it out of or satin? I keep trying to say Saran, oh my gosh. Making it out of satin is just a weird choice. I think the shine throws off the rest of the outfit because the rest of the outfit is made out of a knit fabric that doesn't really throw light back at you. I don't know. It's kind of a weird disconnect, but let me know how you feel about that. I'm not sure. It could be meant to be looking like like silk, like um. Oh, that might be it actually, because if you wear like a silk bonnet to bed, that's supposed to be good for your hair. Maybe that's what they were going for. In that case, I approve, but I would prefer a comfier looking hat. Anyway, I really love this outfit. Is this a skirt and a shirt? <gasps> I was not expecting. Oh my god, look, she has spider web underwear. Cute. I think they all do, but I like it. Um, I cannot believe that. I thought this was a dress. That is so cool. Wow. Sorry, I've been so, um, my expectations with Mattel products have been pretty low lately, but Monster High has been consistently hitting out of the park, so I was really expecting this to be sewn together, um, because a lot of Barbies will have stuff like that, so I really appreciate that these are separate pieces. Anyway, I really like the knit fabric that they made this out of. It reminds me a lot of a lot of Generation 1 dolls' fabrics. It is a bit more, um, artificial feeling than, say, early Monster High dolls like this one, but... Um, it's really nice. And I love the print quality on it too. It looks super good. It's like cool smoke. Just fits Twyla's thing. And I love the color of it as well. This like cyan color is very pretty. And it's got a black gross grain ribbon bow on the front. And then this little like this dust in there with I think a door knocker possibly hanging down and then some smoke coming around. Nice little belt. Reminds me a lot of how she had like, this outfit's pretty similar, huh? Look, even the bow and the little belt is pretty similar. I prefer the new color that they're using to this, like, more snot green color, but I think the snot green's probably... Or it's not snot. It's like an ectoplasm color, like a green ghost color, right? Um, But I like this color better. But this probably makes more sense for the boogeyman. I don't know. Uh, And then her skirt. So her sweater goes down to about, like, waist height, you can see. And then... The skirt is very, like, low-waisted and pretty simple. All of the edges are surged, which is pretty nice. And, yeah, this is the most typical fabric that you would see in Generation 1 Monster High. In fact, it is the same fabric that they used on this doll's skirt. Or no? Oh, it's super similar. Okay, it's the same fabric that was used on the top on the original doll, if you're wondering. The skirt's a bit shiny on the other one. Um, and this is super, super cute. And if you guys don't know, by the way, Monster High dolls, other than, or the new Monster High dolls, other than the budget dolls that were like the day out collection, have a joint right here. So you can actually articulate them at the chest, which I appreciate so much. And then you can see this really cute pink smoky effect here. And then she also has this, which is interesting. So I'm wondering if this is a reference to the little, they had this in Haunted, right? Like a little hourglass i wonder if that's a reference if it's gonna be something similar it's the boogie sand it has something to do with um the boogeyman lore or maybe it's the sandman lore i have no idea um i love the print with the little spiders too and then you can see that they did the little smoky design here too it's in pink this time instead of being in gray and then her shoes twilight always has really cool shoes you can see that there is a window and it's got these little spider web design curtains on it anything on the soles oh my gosh <gasps> cool it's like a old-timey portrait of Twyla and Dustin. Whoa, that is so much detail. Wow, 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 wow. There's little buttons here, too. Okay, I love that. I love this. Oh, my gosh. And I like how reminiscent this is to the original outfit, but without just being, like, a direct copy of the original outfit, because although it would be fun to see, like, the Generation 3 designers just do the Gen 1 outfit again, I like to see, like, something new. I like it. It's really, really cute. Okay, and then... Twyla comes with a bunch of extra accessories, so let's take a look. So, um, this is my least favorite one. I really love the style of the new pets in Generation 3. All of them have been hits for me, but I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I think it's, I prefer, so this isn't the original Dustin, this is the one that came with the Freak Du Chic, um, doll, so I'm pretty sure the original one was a pink color, right? Or am I making that up? I don't remember. Um, but this is based on those monkeys that have the symbols, which is pretty cute. Um, but I liked the button eyes better. I think having the button eyes that also have like an iris and stuff is kind of strange looking because the sculpt of this is really cute and I like the expression and everything. I don't know. Um, also, this one looked a bit more dusty and had like things in it, whereas this one just looks more fluffy, but it fits. I think they were just trying to make him slightly less creepy, which it's a choice. Not my favorite choice personally, but he's really, really cute. I think I would repaint his eyes if nothing else, or maybe, I don't know. 
and then I might get more used to it. And then here's the intro to Talismans. It's a little book. It's actually really nice. Oh, look at the little spider web designs. I love these accessories. And then this is um, UV print, so you can see that it's quite pixelated. They don't use this on the Monster High Dolls faces, thank God, but they use it on the accessories. I don't mind it on the accessories, actually. I think it gives you a lot of detail, and it looks pretty good. And this book is very, very cute. wonder if that has anything to do with Cleo. And then this is the Petrified Pastry Strudel. And I thought Petrified was going to mean, like, rock, but it actually meant scared, it seems, which look how cute that thing is. And then here we have her phone, which has dust. See, look! The button eyes look so much better. There's Dustin with button eyes. And then, but I think people are terrified of the button eye thing, so I, I guess I get it. Here's her phone. You can see this little door knob here, which is actually her barrette. Look how cute this is. Like, it's so, so, so cute. I wish that these had been the earrings, maybe. This is so darling, but I appreciate that she came with a barrette, although I don't like that it's the silver color because that's not going to match well with the rest of her outfit, but it's very cute and it would be fun to mix and match with other outfit pieces from other dolls. And then we have a little, I guess this is tea. Oh my god, the lid comes off. <gasps> oh, I love that sort of thing. Okay, so we have a, I think it's tea because it has this little bag on it. Just a little teacup. Very, very cute. And a little face mask. This is like rubbery. It's very interesting. I was not expecting it to be rubbery. And I mean, it's cute. Uh, the holes in it are interesting though, because when she wears it, I'll show you. So here she is. You can see her eyes through it. I'm wondering why they did that. I guess it was easier than painting on it, but I don't know. It's a little strange. But it's super, super cute. It's super cute. Fun play feature. And then this backpack, which... Oh, good. I was going to say it wasn't open, which is kind of weird. Okay, it opens, but it's very small opening with the backpack. But it's super cute. Again, look how much better Dustin looks with the button eyes. I like the little sewn pieces. And it's, like, got this quilted design. I like that the nose and eyes are painted. It's very, very cute. But, like, look at this. I'd have to cut it a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's probably the intended amount of opening. But yeah, now I can put the accessories inside. And they stick out a little bit, but I think it's cute. So, so cute. I'm, I love that they all come with these backpacks. And I love the amount of accessories that these dolls come with for the price. It's really cool. All right, so I brought over some other dolls so that we can compare Twyla to them. So first of all, I wanted to show you the height. So she is the same height as Claudine, it looks like. Maybe slightly shorter. I do think she has a different body than Claudine, but they're pretty similar in height. Which is disappointing because I really loved how Twyla was so tiny before, but um, I'm thinking that she's probably just not an underclassman anymore. I'm not sure. That's probably the only change that I'm actually not super happy about because, I don't know, I just really like that. And anyway, so here is my Generation 1 Twyla. So please excuse her hair, by the way. She has glue seepage. When I moved, a bunch more of my dolls ended up having pretty bad glue seepage, so I need to work on those which is very annoying. That's a huge problem with Generation 1 Monster High that I'm so grateful that will not be a problem in Generation 2, 3, or 2, actually. I don't think 2 has it either. Um, very unfortunate. It's basically the way they rooted the hair in. They glued it afterward, and the glue seeps out over time, and it's really gross. So the hair color of this one is not entirely accurate, I don't think. I think it's a little bit yellower than it's supposed to be. But anyway, so as you can see, there's a pretty big height difference here. And they are both on the same stand, actually. These are stands that I bought on Amazon. They don't actually, or um, she doesn't come with stand. The new Twilight does not. Um, so this is the facial difference. So her face is less square than the original, and the nose shape is definitely different. I wish that they had kept that nose shape, for sure. Um, and maybe the wider face, too. I think it would have been really, really cute. And then she also just kind of had human ears before. So about the same. She did not have the web design, though. I think the new lip color suits her a lot better because this Twyla I don't super like, but I love every single other Twyla that I have. I used to just think I didn't like Twyla as a doll, but I actually really do. Um, like this Haunted Twyla was my second one and I'm in love with her. And you can see the boogie sand is back, which is very interesting because that was a big plot point for Haunted. That was a big thing. And then um, I'm going to bring Generation 2 over as well so we can look here. So Generation 2, actually, at least the doll that I have, the Garden Ghouls one, did not have the little swirlies. So I'm glad that the swirlies are back. They changed them to pink. I don't know about that. That's not my favorite. I don't mind it too much, but it's not my favorite for sure. But, I mean, it looks good. It's very, very cute. And I'm glad they brought back the swirlies at all because I really like the Monster Idols that have body details. Um, and you can see this Generation 2 doll in particular is supposed to have a very, like, vacant look to her eyes. And mine is wonky also. 
which is a shame because it's one of my favorite dolls. She actually, this one does have polypropylene hair. So this is the difference, by the way. I don't know why people thought that this was polypropylene. I don't know. She has Saran just like the original. It's just a different color. Um, but yeah. So G2 is actually short too, but hmm. pretty cool. Pretty cool. And here she is next to Helene for fun. I'm really curious if they're going to know each other in the new show. I haven't seen a couple of the newest episodes, so if they've, like, interacted at all, I haven't noticed that yet. Um, she's just so cute. I really, really like this Twilight doll. I think they did a fantastic, fantastic job on her. Also, again, I want to make it very, very clear that they do not come with stands. That's my biggest criticism. So these dolls retail for $25, which I actually think is extremely fair. Um especially considering all the stuff that you get and compared to the original monster high dolls the biggest differences are you don't get a diary and you don't get a doll stand and no brush i guess but i don't care about the brush i love all the extra extra accessories that they come with um it's just much more fun for like storytelling and playing with your dolls i really appreciate those um and the outfits are really really nice too they're on par they have really nice materials we're getting the little belts and bracelets and earrings and things that the original monster high had and the biggest thing that i thought was so cool about the original monster high in terms of the actual execution of the dolls was that almost every single doll had a unique face sculpt unique earring sculpt and a unique shoe sculpt and generation three is following suit with that and i appreciate it a lot i think that these shoes are getting closer to kind of how fun the original monster high shoes are i feel like a lot of the newest Monster High dolls, they have very cute shoes from Generation 3, but the shoes just aren't as fun, I guess. They're not as exciting and out there as before. Um, like, these are some of the most amazing shoes I've ever seen in my life. They're beds. Little beds. She's the boogeyman. And then even things like stilts were super fun. It has that, like, cool smoky design. I don't know. So, um, this is actually quite promising. I'm excited to open the rest of Creepover Party to see. And I also very much appreciate that, although this is a sleepover doll, and I'm pretty sure the other dolls come with slippers. I guess I haven't opened them yet. Let me check, because I have one right here. Yeah, so the other dolls come with slippers, like sleep shoes, but Twyla doesn't. Because this is probably going to be Twyla's signature look, they just released her in Creepover Party, and she does fit in the Creepover Party line, obviously. She's very, like, nighttime, sleepy-themed doll. Um, and I so appreciate that they gave her normal shoes not slippers i don't know i think that was really nice of them and i really hope or oh one thing that i would say is that it would have been really cute if one of her extra accessories was slippers that would have been very nice um but yeah so that's it for this review and final thoughts let me know what you guys think of her i will show you guys the glow in the dark feature i'm gonna go in the other room and see if i can get it to work hopefully it does gooby works pretty well which is the little cat that comes with the um coffin bean so i assume this one will work too um but thank you guys so, so much for watching and i'd love to know what you guys think do you prefer the original twyla or the new one i mean it's not fair for me because i really really don't like the original twyla i love her outfit and everything i don't know what it is i also they root they rooted their bangs just terribly this rooting pattern for bangs is atrocious it works fine straight out of the factory but if you played with your doll at all it would split like that or it would leave a giant bald spot it was just a disaster so i really appreciate that they have fixed that problem this is how you're supposed to root bangs by the way um it looks so much better and it lasts so much longer um but i love twyla i love all my other twyla dolls that i have and i love every other twyla doll i've seen online but i don't i don't know i just rarely see a signature twyla that i like um but i really like her oh also i brought over madeline hatter because her hair color scheme is actually pretty similar now to madeline funny enough i called her madeline her name is madeline but maddie hatter you know um you can see the face actually looks pretty similar to this one i think i don't know anyway that's it for this video. For real this time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! You can see Generation 1 Twyla, and on the right you can see Generation 3. By the way, I charged these with like 10 seconds of light. It's really quick, and it works really well. But they do fade pretty quickly, but I imagine if you charge them for longer, they'll last longer. Okay, for real, for real this time. Bye!